Hey guys, and boy do I have a treat to share with you today. As you can see, I've already got the website up. It's called reap.io, and it is a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing service that works completely within your browser. I say file sharing service, of course, file transfer service, basically the idea of getting one file from your computer to another computer as easy as possible. And even better than that, it's open source. So today I'm just going to be giving you a quick demonstration as to how it works and a few thoughts behind it. So all you have to do is bring up the website reap.io and then provide it with a file. So as you can see here I've got the Manjaro KDE ISO just because it was a file that I had lying around and that I could use to demonstrate it. So we'll just drag it across to the uh, to the website itself and it's given us a short URL. Now you may have noticed the emission of any kind of upload time, and that's because it's a peer-to-peer -peer file transfer service. And what that means is that it goes directly from your computer to the computer that you wish it to go to. There are no middlemen, there's no server uh, uh, that, is, uh, that is hosting the file. The only thing that the server is doing is uh, what's called a handshake, which is putting your computer in touch with the computer that is um, accessing the file. So it's uh, pretty much easy from here on in. You just uh, copy the link, send it across using your favorite instant messaging platform or even through email. And you go, uh, you paste it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open another browser window and download the file so that you get an idea about what it looks like when someone else downloads the file. So I'm just downloading it now. And there you go. You can see it uh, plugging away three megabytes a second. So um, you can tell when people are downloading a file and how many. So that is particularly useful and also at what speed and how far along the process they are. So the big catch with this is that the browser window that's operating here has to remain open as long as you want the file to be available. So the second you close that browser window, the file becomes no longer accessible. Now this is good from one standpoint, from a security standpoint. If someone is gaining access to a file and you do not approve, you can just simply close off access to the file. Um, also, uh, it is a negative on the basis that you can't just simply put a file out there on the internet like you could do uh, with um, with services that have uh, that have servers and make use of, of big servers and data farms and all that kind of stuff. This is a very peer-to-peer -peer, uh, way of doing things. And I really do like this kind of peer-to-peer -peer technology. I'm a big fan of things like BitTorrent and SyncThing and any kind of technology that makes creative use of uh, the collective processing power and the collective abilities of our desktop machines rather than having to rely on these outsourced services that not only cost a lot of money but they're also uh, you know you get server outages and uh, there's a whole bunch of other baggage associated with it and when sometimes all you want to do is just a small project or, or, or just transfer one file across to a friend without actually having to pay for a service or, or start up an account here or anything like that sometimes you just want to do something simple basic and you've got the hardware to do so so this simply provides the means to do this Peer-to-peer -peer technology, I think, is 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 the way forward. In fact, I think there is a, a strong argument to say that the idea of peer-to-peer uh, -peer sharing of information is is the backbone of the internet. Um, the idea that that information and, and all this stuff should be distributed, to me, it kind of just strikes me as a as a natural value of the internet. So, this very small piece of tech is very very useful to me because whereas I can send a a large file to someone else through through a service like BitTorrent. Um, completely free of charge and completely without the use of, of you know, third-party services. That's great. However, the person on the other end needs to know how to use BitTorrent and how it works. This is surprisingly more friendly, or this is significantly more friendly to people who, who really don't know much about um, anything on the technical side of things. You can just simply send them a short URL, you can watch them as they download it, and then you can simply you know sort of remove the file or sort of close the browser window once you're done it's the easiest peer-to-peer -peer file sharing service i have ever come across you don't need to sign up to it uh, and it's incredibly easy to use you've just seen me effectively use it so i really wanted to share this this service with you guys today because when it comes to things like peer-to-peer -peer file sharing there are plenty of options for us to use even in the open source space uh, sync thing is really coming on in leaps and bounds now however the real setback is that it's still very much technology that you require a lot of working knowledge to use. And if you just want to share a quick friend, a quick file with a friend peer to peer, you'll need something like this. And this is a uh, this is this is brilliant. Open source, free to use, don't need to sign up. 
I'm all in. This is brilliant. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope you enjoy a lot of, uh, a lot of usage out of this service, because I certainly know I will. Um, so thank you very much for watching. That's about it from me today. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.